Sir, I have a question. Um, let's say um, I want to work on some projects to prove um, experience in Linux administration, mm -hmm. uh, like production environment. What projects would you recommend to work on? So, so I, I can I say would, that I Yeah, yeah, I, I'll say. So it's, it's straightforward. You can say, uh, you can mention like you have done uh, some kind of a configuration, David. Uh, or you you do one thing you can mention that I have installed Ansible okay uh, in one of the production environment in one of the servers and from there uh, we authenticated multiple servers that also you can mention uh, you can also mention that I have configured my NFS that is something production environment we used to do it uh, you also mentioned that uh, uh, I have uh, extended file system or I have created the LVM okay for my current project so and we have mounted so these things everything will come under your production so you, these things you can show it these things only we used to do it in production environment there is nothing else apart from this case and you can show some kind of a script also uh, the backup script you can take it as an example that is the best thing you can tell it in the interview and mm -hmm. that is the most best thing you can say what is the best thing if see this question will be there for uh, everyone guys okay so uh, it will be there and uh, in interview that uh, what do you think that uh, what you have achieved in your last project or what the uh, best thing like the question may be different but the uh, question will be like this only uh, what is the best thing you have done or you can say the biggest thing you have done in your last project so you can mention I have automated uh, the backup of my Linux uh, in my Linux operating system for any kind of a backup. It could be a file backup. It could be a database backup or anything with the help of backup script. I've already given you an example of that one. Uh, you can take anything. OK, you can create uh, you have created a small script also. Right. So those things you can tell and the one which I have just now told. OK, those are comes under your production environment only for the for the backup specifically what is it that normally gets backed up in production in production see what we are going to do ultimately your applications david okay so those applications will be your java applications will be there or it could be dot net application will be there so normally uh, we we take the backup of some kind of a you can say the important files okay or uh, the file which which might be supposed from this server uh, you are sending to the some different server okay a gateway through a gateway and I'll, I'll just giving you one example of my previous organization where what we are doing is uh, there is one gateway server is there from there we received multiple files okay understand this one very carefully guys this is a real-time project so we received multiple files from that gateway and that gateway allows multiple countries to send those files at a different time zone. Suppose David is sitting in Mexico. He has a time zone. Okay. Uh, somebody is sitting at uh, uh, US. So ultimately both are comes under Eastern only David, right? So if I'll, I'll take uh, some of the Gulf country, okay their time zone and if you take any of the european country their time zone correct so and in somebody is sending in india as well okay so we, we have four time zone so the gateway will do whoever those senders are there they will send at a different time correct now through yes. the gateway we have a batch application in our server in my server i have a batch application that is a simple and easy batch application is there it works with the batch application means it's just a cron job. Okay. So it will take all those data put into a single file. Okay. And then because we have some kind of a scheduler scheduler means we have some kind of a cron job schedule at your system so that it's going to send that file again to multiple receiver at one time. Understanding my point. And those receivers are also multiple countries. So in between, when the file is at your place, David, uh, others also, okay? Yes. When the file will be at your system, means at your server, uh, uh, you just give it what XYZ name of that 
it's a uh, uh, i can say it's a billing portal for me okay i'm just giving you it's a billing portal so that the data is coming at billing portal and from there what i can do i am going to keep one copy of data i am taking the backup of one copy of data into some other server david see i know there is a batch process which is going to send the all input file to the output countries it's going to feed to all those countries okay at a time but at the same time i am taking the because suppose somehow those country has not received those, those files then how you are going to make sure that uh, if that happens okay and uh, for there to monitor this one we have grafana so if 11 countries are there but only 10 countries receive those file so where is that one file left yes or no yes and that is a critical data correct those guys will escalate immediately they will escalate why they have not received their file so in that case your backup will work out understanding my point okay yes is that sent through um sftp or rsync or ha uh, means ultimately depends upon means that has a rsync is also uh, means you mean to say the sending of those files to yes, the yes the sending of those files with the countries ha uh, that is what i said through the batch application it's a batch application uh, david we need to java batch application you need to develop that java batch application okay so i i am not a developer java okay so this is just an example i am telling you this is a real time project okay 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 so we need a java batch application for that one you can see if you wanted to replicate you can ask uh, clear and those who know java okay they can use this script and uh, they can create this batch application and it's not see it's just a script this is just a code you can take this code uh, you need to see what all libraries are import is using so ultimately those are the libraries right so it's going to import all those libraries so we got this project okay so here few things are you able to see these things http something is there so we need to get those libraries right so dependencies were there so those dependencies has to be resolved first uh, this is a property file this is uh, all the Uh, frameworks you need to import right um, promote yeah. correct the classes and everything you need to yes, yes, sir. set it up and Repo then you can use like that yes yeah. and then you can utilize this one but again i'll tell you uh you need to know uh means a uh, build means a uh, uh, civil engineer can only know how to make a building because he he learns civil engineering so if you know uh, that how you can construct this one Uh, to a java batch application and what output you need it so you can do it from yourself okay you can do it with the shell scripting also try it out okay but i have given a real time uh, example to you guys this is how you can operate david or anyone okay okay, okay, okay. so <laughs> this batch application you can build by yourself also uh, into one server and then you can get those uh, files and try to send it those file to multiple uh, location also means multiple servers multiple locations means what multiple servers servers only you are sending correct at one so that's it guys for today's uh, this is additional information i have given no need to get scared or yes, like this only the production environment uh, you will get so okay i am ending up the session here only thank you for staying connected with me till then bye and Jane thank you take care bye